I literally jumped out of the car and started running down the road. And they're all just yelling at me, Martika, Martika, you're gonna get eaten by coyotes. And I'm just like, I don't care, I'm going home. <laughs> friends welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome this is life of martika and i'm obviously that person hello hi i'm awkward but you know what i'm working on it and as you can see i'm also trying to get into the christmas spirit with my little christmasy background this here i did all by myself in my car as you can see there's like a little light so you know that this is not a professional setup but I am NOT a professional this is literally floating here like I just have it here so I couldn't wear it if it falls it's because it's not floating very well um, I could not wear it on my head because my ceiling is way too close to my head that it would not stay up but I at least wanted you to see its cuteness I also have some earrings that I guess I could have wore but they kind of hurt my ears and I just don't want to so sorry about that as you can see by the name of the title I'm going to talk about some bad experiences that I've had while under the influence of marijuana this is back when I was younger I wasn't really I wasn't like a drinker so when I was friends with this girl and she was like, hey, have you ever tried this? And I was like, no, but I don't know if I want to because I have a lot of anxiety, like very bad anxiety, Whew, too bad that I just didn't know what was gonna happen when my mind was altered by a substance, you know? But <laughs> let me tell you, these stories are so funny and I'm so glad that I get to tell them to you guys, so before right before I really jump into this video I just wanted to say that if you are not subscribed please hit that subscribe button you know maybe give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video because I just keep coming back I'm really just kind of doing this for myself so for my loyal people out there that are watching I'm doing it for you but I'm also doing it for myself because it just gets me out of my bubble it really opens me up in a way that I'm really not very open so it's very therapeutic if you will really quickly I wanted to show you the earrings <laughs> the earrings that hurt my ears because I honestly think that I just have an allergy to fake stuff so I never really wear earrings and I have two holes in each ear but they like light up just like this okay so have you guys grabbed your snacks Grab your drink. I got my water right here. And I'm about to tell you guys some funny stories. The first experience that I had with that friend, we're gonna call her Erica because I kind of planned them out a little. So we're gonna call her Erica. And in this first experience, one of the people that was there, she was also in my third experience. So we're gonna name her Jessica because that was the first name that popped in my head. So Jessica is also gonna be in the third story that I'm gonna tell, because they're all relatively short stories, but they're so funny they don't really need to be that long, and I figured why not put them all into one video and just make it a whole high experience video, because I was dumb and thought, why not keep trying it until maybe it works? <laughs> I had just moved to the town that I live in now, and it was back in 2013. No, I lied. It was back in 2011 because I was a late graduator for reasons. If you'd like to know, comment below. And I graduated a little bit later. So I graduated in 2013, but I started at this school in 2011. And I became friends with this girl, Erica. And she was really the only person that kind of wanted to just like be my friend because I was a new girl. I mean, all the kids kind of was like, ooh, who's the new girl? Because, you know, this town, eh, 
Like, I can't really say. There's just like a lot of nasty people in this town. So when they seen someone who did not look nasty, you know, I'm just a very clean person. They're like, who is this new girl? And then, you know, people wanted to like try and be my friend, but I'm like, I don't know any of you people. I don't want to be your friend. Just like, you know, give me some time to adjust to this new school, okay? Because as soon as I came to this school, I had a whole nother attitude. I had a whole nother life because in this school, I had to stick up for myself because back in the other school, people didn't bug me. Like people had clicks and did all that and I wasn't a part of the clicks. I became friends with Erica and Erica was a different type of girl. You know, she was real cool. Like she liked to party and stuff like that. And you know, like I said, I'm not a partier. Like I don't like to party. I never was a drinker. I wasn't a teenage drinker. Like I didn't like to. It didn't appeal to me. I was just one of those people. I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me. I don't know why I wasn't a normal teenager. Okay, okay. We were all ha hanging out at Erica's house and Jessica was there and Jessica was friends with Erica's sister. We'll call her Sam. So Jessica was friends with Sam. So we were all hanging out and they had like a couple other people over there. I don't remember who was there, but like her family was very okay with smoking marijuana. Like they smoked marijuana. They didn't mind if their kids smoked marijuana as long as they were obviously a teenager. So we're all gathered around at her house because, you know, it didn't really matter where we were in the house. We're all like in her living room, me, Erica, Jessica, Sam, and a couple other people. And they're like, Martika, have you ever like smoked marijuana before? Like, no, no, I haven't tried it. Like I have really bad anxiety and I don't really know how it's going to affect me with this mind altering substance. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And they're like, you know, we'll just take a couple of hits. It'll be okay. Like, you'll be all right. Like, just calm down. Relax. Just take a couple of hits. And if anything happens, like, we'll help you out. You'll be okay. So I was like, you know, I don't really know. But then eventually, obviously, I said, okay, I'll try it. So I took a couple of puffs on it. And all of a sudden, I was like, whoa, my, like, I feel weird my eyes are like going like this everything i'm looking at's like and i'm just like whoa man whoa i don't know what's going on so i start freaking out a little bit and i'm like okay i'm having a panic attack because my heart's pumping out my chest i feel like i'm going to pass out and the only thing i can think to do whenever i have a panic attack is to just jump into the cold like, I would put a fan on me, I would put some cold water on my face, like, go outside if it's cold outside. Like, anything that's going to help me is coldness. Coldness always helps me in a panic attack. So, I was like, I can't do this. Like, I'm freaking out. I need to leave. So, I literally run out the door. I ran out the door. I called my mom because my mom, you know, she was a cool mom and she was down for kids being teenagers and I was of that age where it was like, you know... I'm not going to obviously get mad at you for being a teenager. She was a teenager once too, and it was just like marijuana, which is not the worst possible drug I could be trying right now. So my mom was not mad at me. She was like, you know, honey, it's okay. Just come home. Like, I'll take care of you. It'll be fine. So I literally ran out of the house. It was like, deuces, I gotta go. Like, I'm having a panic attack. And I walked all the way home. I lived 10, 15 minutes away on feet and probably like, Two minutes away on car so in car so I was just like I have to go because I'm freaking out and that wasn't really like the craziest experience but let me tell you like it gets crazy for this second experience because clearly after the first time I thought maybe it'll be different the second time but clearly I was wrong because I'm gonna be honest with you guys I did not know at the time that what we smoked was not weed i was not under the influence of marijuana and this is why i reacted in a completely different way like completely so i was with that girl erica because erica she'd be the best influence up in here obviously right like she was my best influence <laughs> i'm hanging out with erica and she's like 
hey, I know you didn't have like the best experience the first time, but we have this friend, we're gonna call him John because I don't fucking remember his name right now. John, you know, he wants to go on a cruise with us. And she was that type of girl that'd be going on cruises with her friends that she went to school with because she went to that school a lot longer than I did. So she knew the people that did all that types of stuff. So she's like, yeah, he wants to smoke with us. You want to come with us? And it was me, Erica, and her friend, name her Jane. Okay, Jane. <laughs> I was in the back seat with Jane and Erica was in the front seat with John. So she was in the passenger seat. And we all went on this cruise, right? We're just driving down this back road and I started feeling really weird. And I knew that from that one experience that I had with Erica, that this was not the same type of experience. And so I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my hands, okay? And this is when I knew something was wrong. I looked at my hands and they were like pulsating almost. Like you, it looked like there was a wave around them and it started to trip me out. I was like, okay, so there's something really wrong here. And Jane, Jane looks at me and she was trying to pass it to me. And I was like, no, I don't want any more. Like I'm good. And she's like, and I can still remember her saying this because I was so like messed up. And I only took, I kid you not, like two puffs off that thing. Like it was like a long, it was like a blunt thing. And so that's why I thought it was just like regular marijuana. And she's like, you don't want any more of this? And I was like, no, I'm good. And that's when I knew something was wrong because the way she said it, it was like almost like it was coming in at different tones. She was talking in different tones in my ear. Like, you don't want any more of this? And I'm just like whoa and I like freaked out and the way she looked she was pulsating like my hands were so I was like oh my god and I was like are you and I looked at and I oh I almost said her name crap and I looked at Jane and I was like is are you are you sure this is weed and she's like we're not smoking weed like you thought we were smoking weed and I was like what and and I swear, it's like I my eyes went tunnel-y. And I was like, what? And it's like almost like my whole body just like freaked out, but in like a calm way. And she's like, we're not smoking weed. We're smoking K2. And I don't know if you guys know what K2 is, but it's pretty much like incense. Like he was smoking incense because he was on probation and he couldn't smoke marijuana because it would show up on a drug test. So he was smoking incense and nobody told the bitch that we was smoking motherfucking incense. So I tripped my ass off. And the next thing I know, the second they said that we weren't going very fast down the road. We were, we just like turned down this dirt road and I jumped out of the car like I was sitting behind the passenger seat so I was like right next to the ditch so I jumped out of the car I didn't even fall or anything and I just took off walking because I could not believe what was going on and I just wanted to go home and I was not even walking in the right direction and I was just like I needed to go home like I have to go like everything looked like a freaking black and white cartoon movie and I need to go home and I was like, look, and I just could not believe it. Cause when I was looking through the window, everything just looked like animation. And I was like, what is going on? And I just could not believe that this bitch tricked me into smoking K2. I don't care if you thought I'd be okay with it. You gotta tell a bitch, you can't just do that to her. Like you can't do that to me. And she did, she, oh, that savage bitch, man. She did that to me. I could not believe her. I never trusted a soul after that. I could not trust anybody. I would not, nope. Like you want me, nope. You want me to smoke with you, nope. And not happening, nope, nope. I learned my lesson because you know what happened? Finally, they're like, cause they said to me, Martika, Martika, you're gonna get eaten by coyotes! And I'm just like, no, I'm not, I'm going home! And they're like, come on, Martika, we'll take you home. Like, we'll take you home, it's okay. Like, get in the car, we'll take you home. And they're trying to talk to me calmly, and I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get in the car. So I get in the car, and I'm staring out the window. The window's like cracked, because you know me, I'm trying to get myself out of this panic moment. And I'm freaking out. And I get home and I see my mom, she's laying on the bed with her mans. And I'm like, mom, 
it's happening again. Like, I, like, Erica got me to smoke this other thing. Like, I thought it was weed and it was K2 and I'm freaking out. And, like, I wanted to die. Like, I literally was looking at the walls and there was like, a picture of these, like, knives going like this on the wall. And I wanted to kill myself with them because I could not believe what was happening to me. And it didn't last very long because it was a different substance. So, it didn't last as long as it should, which was, oh, thank God, because I was dying. And my mom was like, honey, you know, this is why you don't, you don't just, like, smoke anything with anybody. Like, this is why you don't do stuff like this. And she's trying to calm me down. She's like, it'll be okay. It'll get better. Like, just relax. It'll be over before you know it. Like, just chill out. And I just, and that, that experience right there, I don't know why I even tried it again after that. But I knew that it wasn't like it was a marijuana like I got tricked into smoking something crazy smoking some incense and yeah guys like that was some crazy stuff like don't smoke anything that you get from anyone I don't care if you're trying to be a cool kid and you're trying to smoke with your friends like you inspect that shit if you really feel like you have to do it you make sure what you're looking at because I didn't even look at it and that was on my part like that's my poor judgment but I learned my lesson just don't do drugs kids just don't do it I don't care if marijuana is like the safest drug in America just don't do it oh a girl needs to try it a few more times until she know that this is just not for her okay it was just not for me I was with Jessica from my first story and you know Jessica was like hey I got this new rap it was called like a cyclone or something crazy and it's supposed to get you like super like high like you get real high and I was like oh you know I'll, I'll try it but I'm not gonna you know smoke too much because you know clearly I don't have the best experiences but my mom she was present she was there so if anything were to happen she'd be there for me so Jessica was at my house like me and Jessica were hanging out having fun and she's like hey you want to try this and I was like you know what sure it'll be fine I thought everything would be just fine you know and let me keep this in mind for all of you so you know why this was such a crazy like deal was it was winter time outside so it was snowing and icy and cold freaking cold and well we lived in this town but we lived somewhere else and uh, we were just sitting in the living room me and Jessica and we're sitting on this couch I smoked it with her and all of a sudden I started feeling really like weird everything started moving really weirdly like I don't know it almost like I was looking at it through like a lens or something like everything just looked really weird so I was like wow like I'm start starting to feel really weird and she was you know like you know it's probably because the cyclone's supposed to get you higher and I was like okay you know so I tried to wait it out a little bit but then all of a sudden my heart started racing and you know I started really freaking out and whenever my heart starts racing I start freaking out the first thing I want to do is go to something cold and like talk myself out of it I freaked out no shoes no socks I took off walking outside in the wintry coldness and in the area that I lived in once you walk down my road because my road's pretty short is like a little cul-de-sac there's like little cul-de-sacs because it was like a motorhome area there was like a big circle so I took off walking and I started walking around that circle and I kid you not I could not feel the ground I could not feel the ground I could not feel my feet I could not feel the coldness I seen the snow it was dark outside and the darkness was like comforting to me so I just like kept walking and I knew that like obviously they weren't gonna let anything happen to me so I just kept walking so I walked like halfway around the circle and Jessica's yelling for me like Martika what are you doing like are you okay like come back like it's cold outside you don't have no shoes no socks on like come back home and I was like like I'll like I'll be home in a minute like I, I like I can't I can't do this <laughs> as I got like halfway around the circle I started being able to feel the coldness on my feet and I was like shit like I'm gonna get frostbite so I turned around and I started walking back the half circle and by the time I got like 
half the half of the circle like my feet were really cold so I started walking a lot faster and I realized like you know I was just like tripping out and I was just having like a moment because I don't know why I do these things to myself but I thought I would try it again and as you can see what happens is I take off and freeze my little bum buns off outside until I almost get myself frostbite just to get myself out of this panic and yeah guys those are the few terrible high experiences that I had and I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a little crazy but I I wouldn't change my experiences because everything happens for a reason and we learn from those things that happen in our lives that is it for this week's video i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button down below because i really do appreciate you all who have subscribed and who watch my videos it means so much to me you guys have no idea how much it makes my heart so happy to see the people who do watch my videos and do subscribe and do tell me what they think of my videos because all comments really do matter to me whether they're good or they're bad i just wanted you guys to know how much i do appreciate you all and i'm so happy that you are here for me during my growing channel and we'll see you all next week and just so you know this video will be popping up on tuesday because i had me a late start this week but don't you guys worry because i will be here every week it may not be on the same days but so I'll see you all next week. Bye.